Hello everyone. Um, Mutale here, just uh, speaking to you direct from uh, Diamond of our Foundation Office. Today we're looking at uh, vote on issues that affect you. So still we continued on voters' rights and voters' uh, perception in terms of politics. So the main issue today is uh, vote on issues that affect you. Don't just don't vote because somebody came and gave you a ten kwacha or a chitengi material and then you think they are the right people to vote for. So today we're trying to cover this topic so that you are able to understand and then we're supposed to be looking at uh, long-term goals and cover our children and our children's children. So ladies and gentlemen, Let's look at, first of all, let us unveil what problems uh, is Zambia facing right now, or is been facing. So natural hazards such as uh, periodic droughts and sometimes tropical storms uh, from November to April remain a major problem in Zambia today. Just like uh, the most other African countries, today corruption, and poor governance continue to tear the beautiful Zambia into pieces. Unemployment, poverty, and politicians, uh, these are the major, major problems of Zambia today. So how do we look at this? How do we solve this problem as citizens other than waiting for the politicians? Because uh, like I've mentioned here, politicians are the major problems of what we are going through right now at Zambia, including poverty, including unemployment, and the decisions that we make as Zambians ourselves. So let us look critically on our issues that affect us. First of all, how do citizens participate in the political process? This is what we have to answer, and this is what we owe us accountable as to what decisions is going to be made for our future and our children and our children's children. First of all, by voting, uh, citizens are participating in the democratic process. Citizens vote for leaders to, pre uh, to represent them and their ideas, and the leaders support the citizen interests. So you can hear from that perspective to say we play a very important role as citizens of the country to take a Zambia to a specific level of our expectations. So if we don't participate in politics, we leave this to uh, politicians who just come and lie to us, like for example, the way you'd hear Boman Lusambo, for example, comes and tells you, this is what it's going to do for you, this is what it's going to do for you. You shouldn't take that as serious. You should always vote for people based on your interest and on your belief. What do you want uh, to change in your area, in your life, and everything else uh, surrounding you is what you should base your vote for. Your vote is very expensive. So looking at the way you participate in voting, should, you should treat your vote as very precious, such that uh, once you make a decision, it's for the lifetime decision. You are looking at your children, you are looking at your grandchildren, and you're looking at the grandchildren's children. So this is what the major advice that I'm trying to help to make Zambian citizens understand as to why we go to the polls, to vote for the leaders, that will take us to a specific direction of where the country should go. First of all, ask yourselves or ask ourselves, why is Zambia so poor? You know, po poverty in Zambia uh, is the result of decades of economic decline and neglected infrastructure. Distribution of wealth is unequal with the rich and the middle income people, and the maximum proportion of the people are poor. Poverty in Zambia has drastically affected the health of Zambians, especially children. Because when we are doing our planning, we don't look at we don't look at long term, we look at what we are doing right now as a Zambia. 
that should be done by maybe individuals. Even individuals shouldn't even be looking at themselves. They should be looking at when they are planning, they are looking at their children and their children's children. And when we have that kind of a perspective, then we will be able to change certain things around and we look at our Zambian economy to be in a different perspective. And maybe that is the time or that is the point that Zambia can turn around and start doing better uh, as the economy. But all overall, when you look at, again, we have to blame what is what we call as gov uh, good governance. What is good governance? Good governance means that uh, the process and uh, institutions pro uh, producing results that meet the needs of society while making the best use of the resources at their disposal. The concept of efficiency in the, in the context of good governance also covers the sustainable use of uh, natural resources and the protection of the environment. So if you add this, you still you see like when you're looking at the governance it's also coming back to the way we conduct ourselves and the way the leaders conduct themselves towards what they want to achieve based on what zambia can be in future in 30 years from now but this is not the case if you have leaders like boma nusambo who decides to talk to you in the in the manner that he embraces issues of stealing from the government, then I think Zambia won't go nowhere. So it's very important that Zambians should start looking at issues that affect them and that will affect their children and their grandchildren. Then we we'll start making proper decision to take our country forward and prosper. But if you are looking at your belly right now, then I don't think our, we are ready to make a change and to, to improve our country. So that comes back to good governance. Like I've just said about good governance, that comes back to good, good governance. Because, for example, if you are looking at somebody to, 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 to put in, in, in the public office, it's important that as a Zambian citizen who is participating in voting, should first of all start everything with yourself. What did you want to know and the change around wherever you live within your life? and other people surrounding within your community. So when we start understanding issues like that, then you know that we need to choose and maybe even educate our community to say, this is the kind of leader we want to have in this community. This is the belief that we need to deliver to them. So if they come here to tell us what they want to do for us, we have to match what we think and what they are telling us. And then if they are able to match our needs and wants, then you need to show uh, to help a uh, vote for those kind of people. Not anyone who comes here and bring the the, the, the Chitenge or the Ten Kwacha just for one day to solve a problem of one day will not make any change or any difference in our uh, developing country. Let's look at the principles of good governance. These are the things that people should be looking at when people are coming in, when people are telling you, especially when you have experience from the previous uh, governance to the next and to the next. It's important to take note that good governance has eight major uh, characteristics. It's participatory, uh, consensus-oriented, accountable, transparent, resp responsive, effective and efficient, equitable and inclusive, and as follows uh, and follows the rule of law so when you talk of uh, rep uh, responsiveness then we can also talk about efficiency and effectiveness we can talk about openness and transparency we can talk of rule of law we can talk of ethical conduct we can talk of competence and capacity and then we will talk about innovation and openness to change. But all the change will not come from these politicians who keep lying to the citizens of the country, Zambia, but it will come from us to the politicians. So vote for people who match your needs and wants. What do you want 
to change in your life? What do you want to change in your community? Then you start making a decision to vote for somebody who is matching what you think is right for your community, what you think is right for your country, what you think is right for yourself in person. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a very important topic. We are just going to end up here. Those who want to follow us on Twitter, follow us on Twitter. You can also go ahead and dis uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel and go uh, in LinkedIn and make a follow up on LinkedIn. And uh, most of the social media like Facebook, we are available trying to make sure we, we make Zambian people understand exactly what we are going into. Remember, 2021 is an election year, and what we just said here is very, very important to uh, for all the citizens to start looking out for the people they need to put in power. Don't look at the hunger of today. Look at for the hunger for your children. You can survive at the age where you are right now. You've survived all this time, and you can survive based on how you've uh, looked at your life. But let us look and have interest on how we can make our children in future improve and make this country the better place to live in. So thank you and have a wonderful day.